Hello, fabulous Leo. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of February 2020. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. What an amazing month it is. We have an active and fabulous sky playing out for us right now. And it is this sky and it is this month that is an important one for you. There will be a full moon in your sign this month. Right around the 9th is when this takes place and it will be speaking in supreme harmony with Mars. This adds energy, impulsiveness certainly, but it is impulsiveness that pays off. It adds excitement, but also risks that can actually go very well also. Now, when you have a full moon in your sign, what it does is it brings your truth to the surface. It brings your own emotions, your own feelings, and how you really feel about a situation, perhaps something near and dear to your heart. Well, it helps you to get honest about your feelings around it. Now, sometimes that honesty isn't easy, but with a full moon like this, I think chances are very good that it is an honesty that feels like it breathes new life and new enthusiasm into you at this time. Whatever it is that matters to you most, that matters to you first, that is most likely to be illuminated now, but also the space where you are most likely to connect with what truly matters. And as you do, you'll find that much more greater fulfillment of your truth and of what it is ultimately that's going to bring you a sense of emotional balance and emotional peace. Ultimately, the full moon does represent our own sense of equilibrium. What is it that we really need on an emotional level to be at peace with ourselves? Well, where it is that you have that, it will become abundantly clear at this full moon. And where it is that perhaps you don't, that may show up for you at this time, as well as the motivations and the keys to make the changes. What I really love about full moons when they happen in your own sign is that it ultimately gives you a lot of power, but it's power that is rooted in emotion. And more importantly, what you think matters most and who you are and you know what you're really going for and what you're striving for in the full moon, it is about the truth. What has your emotional energy? What has the emotional surge to it to make it that much more relevant for you? Well, that becomes illuminated at this time. And in the process, you are granted great power to bring a matter to fruition as its time has come. Now it is going to be as we navigate later in the month, right around the 23rd is when we will have this month's new moon. This new moon for you is happening in a part of the sky that is connected to, on the one hand, personal change and transformation. Your own sense of evolution is covered here. But the other layer of understanding to this part of the sky, well, it is connected to a deeper appreciation of where it is and how it is there are emotional and spiritual riches and resources available to you where it is that you are well cared for and well provided for by a generous universe and yes in a practical sense this part of the sky is also connected to your relationship to financial institutions and your ability to access funds now here's the thing with this energy We've got this new moon speaking in harmony with Uranus and speaking in harmony with Mars. So there's this sense of encouragement and easy energy and things moving quickly and in a way that feels rather lucky. You'll have to take action certainly with energy like this, but there's still this sense that things are changing and they can change quickly and to your advantage. At the same time, though, a week before that uh, new moon is when Mercury is going to go retrograde in this same part of the sky for you. And so I see the energy working out a couple of different ways. Now, what you want to be careful with is the brand new, the coming out of nowhere uh, types of opportunities, particularly where it comes to grants, loans, bursaries, insurance payments, tax returns or benefits you may qualify for. But where it is that an opportunity is coming back around, where it is that you're getting a chance to reapply for a source of funding, well, that is when you've got the best that the universe promises on your side at a time like this. There's also a sense now of you getting more clear about yourself and who you are and what truly matters at your core. 
and that can be tremendously empowering to you. However, there is going to be a sense of you needing to pay attention to deeper details, to a deeper sense of where it is you're being asked to change because it is possible that your first response, your first thought that, oh, the reason that I'm having this emotional response, which strong emotional responses are possible at this time, and you may think that what you are meant to interpret from it is one thing, but your answer might lie in a different area, might be more focused on nuances, if you will. I'm especially excited about this energy though for you is because it does promise a sense of regeneration and where it is that you feel that you're ready to appreciate just how loved you are, how cared for you are. Well, with surprising energy like this, it may surprise you where that love, where that care, where that support comes from, whether it's emotional, whether it's spiritual or financial. It is possible now that someone else or some other company or organization or the myriad of ways in which love and support and care and friendship and yes, financial resources as well can show up for you at this time. Where it comes to matters of love, right around February 6th is when Venus will change signs and move into fellow fire sign Aries. Now that alone is gonna work to your advantage. Having Venus move into a fellow fire sign means that you're able to tap into that energy that much more easily, tap into a spirit of love that much more easily as well. Now it is Venus moving into a part of the sky that is decidedly international uh, and it has to do with adventure as well. And it is going to be these themes that start to color your love life at this time. If you're open to meeting someone new, well, an international love could call you right about now. You might connect with someone who's from a very different culture or different background, maybe a different religion than your own. And in some way, they show you a new way to see things that perhaps you hadn't considered before. If it is that you are someone who is just starting to get to know somebody, this is where things start to feel more philosophical. You're more interested in understanding what they believe about the world uh, and where it is that some of their most important, whether it's philosophical or religious uh, or cultural experiences and beliefs, what are they, where do they come from? This is gonna be part of uh, the increased sense of getting to know each other uh, is going to entail. And for those of you who are in an established bond, well, when Venus moves into this part of the sky, it tends to bring with it a spirit of adventure and a desire to do new things together, like perhaps travel or make some other plans. And overall though, this is a really nice vibration for being more open to learning about each other, no matter how long you're in a partnership for, well, chances are that you do have these glimpses and these moments where you do learn about this person in a whole new way. Again, it is in a partnership that people can continue to surprise you with the things that they think, the things that they believe, the things that they do and why they did it. And you may have some of those moments, but it seems to be the kind of thing that as much as it brings in new perspectives on this person that you love, it also seems to be the thing that endears you to them that much more. What I love about this month for you, well, I'm going to say that full moon in your sign, chances are you'll be feeling especially emotional right around that time, but it really is about you getting in touch with what you feel, the truth of what you feel, and where it is perhaps you haven't wanted to more fully look at it or examine it that much more deeply. This full moon will be very revealing. It'll show you what it is that truly matters to you, regardless of what you might have told yourself or what you might have been thinking on an energetic, visceral, emotional level. There is a focus right now and where it is that perhaps there's not clarity around that, well, that clarity will come. But the great thing is, is that it is a clarity that awakens you, that energizes you and imbues you with genuine enthusiasm going forward from here. 
Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this every week by logging on to NadiaShaw.com. Sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded exclusive video scopes each and every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes and more. All of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. It'll be a great month. Enjoy. Mm -hmm.